In this video, I'll help you to get started with importing CSV files into LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So to begin, we'll try to open up our file by going to the File menu and click Open. Navigate to where the file location is and we can choose Open. And because the file type is in CSV format, Calc automatically displays this text import dialog. Here it gives us some options regarding the file format and how we want it to be processed to be opened. Because this is a CSV file, each column is separated by a comma within the file. There are some file types that are tab delimited in that case just make sure the tab option is selected here i know that i don't have any tabs so i'll deselect it now also deselects any semicolons if for your file you have other type of delimited character you can always type it in here i'll just leave mine as a comma and down here it gives us a preview i'll scroll over to the right take a look at some of the columns i have in here so here I have a author column and a price column and it seems to be good in terms of no missing data or extra unintended columns. For your sheet, hopefully it also looks good in a preview, but if not, you may have to try using different options up here for it to work with your specific file. So now I'll choose OK. And it opened up another spreadsheet for me but it did process my CSV file accurately. Here, the file name is still left as the CSV file. At this point, I would recommend that you go and save this as an actual spreadsheet. So here, instead of using the type of CSV, we'll make sure to use the ODF spreadsheet file type. After saving, it allows us to open up the file again in Calc without having to go through the same text dialog each time over and over. So now that I saved it as an ODS file, the name up on the title bar has changed accordingly to indicate that. And at this point, we could go ahead and make any changes we want to the sheet as normal, such as we could sort, we could adjust the color formatting, add borders, etc. So that's it for today's quick tip. I hope you found this helpful. I'll put a link in the description below to the official help page, which also explains how to import sheets with formulas in the CSV format and also how to export your spreadsheet to a CSV. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay nifty.